Alex from Preston. I'm going to be talking about what I'm going to give up for Lent this year. I'll be giving up chocolate. Also, I will be reading the Bible every day. I'm giving up chocolate because it is sweet. Give, and giving it up reminds me of the suffering that Jesus went through on the cross for our sins. I'm going to also read the Bible every day because it's God's word and it helps me to remind of what Jesus went through for us. As Christians, we are all baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Through baptism, we made a pure bond with the Lord. As we grew older, we have faced temptation, and many times we fell into these temptations. And somewhere along the line, we start to lose that special relationship with our God. So let us rebuild that relationship this Lent. To start off, we need to know what Lent is. It's a rediscovery of the all spiritual way of life to pursue repentance. Each and every one of us started this spiritual way at baptism. So this Lent, let's make our mission to renew ourselves through confession as we make repentance part of our lifestyle and reestablish the relationship we once had with God. Three things we are encouraged to do during this Lent is fast, prayer, and give to charity. Remember friends, we are God's chosen people, a holy nation, and God's special possession. Honor each of those titles and really stab our relationship with our Creator and pray prayer that we do not fall into temptations of our everyday life. Through the season of Lent, I wish to grow closer to the Lord by offering my time and my body to him and these sacrifices which I'm taking up help me to grow up in my spiritual life. Hello friends, my name is Catherine and I come from the Preston region. Lent is a very important event for all Christians. It is an old English word meaning lengthen. Lent is observed in spring when the days begin to get longer. Jesus went into the desert to fast and pray before beginning his work for God. Jesus was tempted several times by Satan, but was able to resist. Lent allows Christians to remember Jesus is fasting in the desert. It is a time of giving things up and a test of self-discipline. Pope Francis says in his message for Lent, during the season of conversion, let us renew our faith, draw from the living water of hope, and receive with open hearts the love of God, who makes us brothers and sisters in Christ. For Lent this year, I am reading a chapter of St. John's Gospel every day. Along with that, I am abstaining from me and attempting to pray more than I usually do. Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, the sinner. This is the prayer that I will recite daily and as many times as I can. Finally, I wish you all a happy and fruitful Lent. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Sadri, and for this Lent, I'm going to be going to Holy Mass every day because it is the highest form of worship that we as humans can offer to God. In Lent, we remember the number 40 a lot, and this began when the Israelites left Egypt from their slavery and they went to the Promised Land with the grace of God. And similarly, we see that Jesus also fasted for 40 days in the desert without any food. And this is important as it shows us how long sometimes it can take for us to truly go back to God and to be able to be thankful to Him for all the graces that He has bestowed upon us. I will also be reading the Bible, the Word of God, every day because it allows us to truly understand not only the life of Christ but also the lives of all the holy prophets who came before Him in order to slowly but surely bring the Israelite people to the face of the Lord. In fact, through Lent we understand that it is critical not only to follow God for one minute or for one day in our life, but rather to extend this throughout our whole lives. Think of the 40 days of Christ um, during the desert, or think of the 40 years of the people of uh, Israel. During Lent, the Church provides us with three things that we must do. Pray, fast, and give alms, or give to charity. The first one of these, prayer, 
should come as no surprise to us. After all, prayer is communicating with God, and so it is critical that we turn back to God through prayer during Lent. The next thing is fasting, and fasting is critical because it allows us to crucify our body along with the body of Christ as we go through pain or suffering as a result of this. It also allows us to aim at the greater good, namely being able to attain eternal salvation itself. Finally, to give alms or to give to charity is to show love towards our neighbours just as Christ commanded us. Therefore, let us allow this Lent to truly transform our lives and to give to the poor, to fast and to pray all that we may become better people. The first thing that comes into my head about Lent is the crucifixion and how Jesus died for us and how after three days he resurrected again. Lent is a season that occurs every Easter and it reminds us of what happened to Jesus and why we should also make small sacrifices just like he did in his time. The biggest sacrifice of all was when he died on the cross just for us to save us from our sins. As you know, during Lent, we always make a promise or a sacrifice to do or not to do something. My Lenten promise is to fast meat and fish and to read one chapter of the Bible every day. Now, making small sacrifices like this will make you one step closer to God. I would like to share with you all with how I will make my way to Easter. I will be reading the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 17. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his, lo in his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. I will recite this word of God every Saturday and I will share it with my family. Little sacrifices like these can make you closer to God. I will try to learn this word of God and write it down. Lent is when Jesus fasted in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights to pray to God. He did this after he was baptized by John the Baptist, his cousin. Jesus was tempted by Satan three times, but he refused to do what he asked. He uses scripture to show that he, he is loyal to God. Therefore, we fast to show how loyal we are to God. My Lenten promise is to give up watching TV. Lent is about leading a quiet and contemplative life. It starts on Ash Wednesday and ends the night before Easter Sunday. The biggest sacrifice of all is the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. He died for us. Every year, during the season of Lent, many people make a Lenten promise to grow closer to God and Jesus. This year, my Lenten promise, I'm going to make sure that I continue to attend family prayer and read the Bible every day. I have also decided to reduce the time that I spend on electronics. I will also recite Jesus, have mercy on me and the whole world during these special days. It is yet again that time of year where we reflect and prepare for the resurrection of Christ and the victory that he won over sin and death. The word Lent is a shortened form of the Anglo-Saxon English word Lenten with the meaning of a spring season. At the end of the 4th century, it was declared that the Lent season was to last 40 days. In the book of Genesis, it says that Noah and his family waited in the ark for 40 days and 40 nights in hopes of a new world. Before receiving the Ten Commandments, Moses prayed and fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. As well as this, the prophet Elijah walked 40 days and nights to get to Mount Horeb. Likewise, for 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus prayed, fasted and overcame temptation in the wilderness in preparation for his public life. At the start of Lent, we celebrate the repentance service where the priest applies ash on our foreheads. This is called Ash Monday. However, in the Latin liturgical church, 
Lent begins on Ash Wednesday. During the Lenten period, many people recollect their sins and repent over these to begin a new life in Jesus. We show respect and remember the days that Jesus spent in the wilderness praying and fasting. We follow in his footsteps by praying, reading the Bible, and making a Lenten promise. This year, your Lenten promise could be continuing to respect your elders and obey your parents and helping them with the household work. Or it could be as simple as giving up chocolate or crisps up until Easter or participating in the Holy Mass as many days as possible. Giving up the things that we like most is a practice to overcome temptations that we face in our daily lives. Lent is a time to grow in love through charity and penance. So, so the more that we preserve in penance, the more we will discover our souls growing in charity. I wish everyone a successful and blessed Lenten journey this year. My name is Sona, Sona Shibu in fact. Today I will talk to you about my Lenten journey. My first question to you is, what is meant by Lent? Well, Lent is a significant season in the year of Christians, a time of solemnity and self-reflection, where they confess their fallings and resolve to live a more godly life based on the teachings of Jesus Christ. It lasts just up to six weeks up to Easter. Traditionally, it was a time of fasting from certain foods such as eggs, meat, fish and fats. Nowadays, people might give up luxurious foods such as chocolate, cakes, etc. They may also give up an activity such as using social media, drinking alcohol or smoking. In most churches, the first day of Lent is Ash Wednesday. Many Christians go to search to that day to seek forgiveness from God for what they have done wrong. Usually, the day before Lent begins begins is a time for feasting and celebration. All the luxury foods that won't be eaten during Lent are consumed, given, given that to those foods include eggs, milk and fat, ingredients for pancake bat batter. It is clear why it became traditionally to make pancakes. In the UK, the day is known as Shrove Tuesday. The word Shrove is, is defined from Shrive, which means to forgive. In many parts of the world, that day is known as Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday in French, and is marked with a carnival. The last week, the last week of Lent is Holy Week, which commemorates the final days before Jesus' execution on a cross. It begins with Palm Sunday, which marks the day Jesus rode into the Jerusalem on a donkey. <laughs> It was a day of triumph when crowds of followers and supporters waved palm branches and laid them on the ground in front of him. In many churches, Christians are given small palm crosses to remember that day. These are the crosses that were burnt in the following year to provide ashes for Ash Wednesday. Through, the, through this blessed season, of the church, we must do three essential things to our preparation of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Those three things are, we must try to give up something for Lent. We must surely attend Holy Mass, and we must prepare goals for, for ourselves to help those in need. I'm not saying you need to celebrate Lent to do these things, but try to make this an opportunity to do something good for a change. Thank you for listening. I hope this has inspired everyone watching this to make an attempt to help those who need your help or encourage those who need your encouragement. Thank you. Lend help us to prepare for Easter through prayer, fasting and alms giving. It is six weeks before Easter and we fast for 50 days, I will be giving up my favorite food, which is crisps and won't argue with my sister or parents. 
in Lent, we should also do the rosary every day because Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for our sins. So we should pray to him and ask for forgiveness. It is important that we don't break our fast during Lent, but if we do, we can start again. Lent help us to become closer to God before Easter. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Ashish Matthews and I am from the Preston region. Lent is a very prayerful time in which we prepare ourselves to renew our in faith. Pope Francis says Lent is a good time for sacrificing. Let us deny ourselves something every day to help others. We can mark this season of Lent with prayer, fasting and almsgiving. During this season, we can remind ourselves of others that are less fortunate by taking up their cause in our hearts and minds. To achieve this, I will attend Mass every day when possible and altar serve, read Bible, pray daily rosary and obey my parents. I am joining the Lord's fasting by not eating any of my favourite foods and also not wasting any time on the TV. Growing closer to God means living, loving and thinking like Jesus did. Almsgiving is not just giving money to charity, it is giving our valuable time to help others in need. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the Lord's death and resurrection in this season of Lent. Let us pray that we may be able to come closer to our Lord. Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about Lent and how we celebrate it. So, what is Lent today? Today, Lent is observed during the 40 day period between Ash Monday or Wednesday and Easter Sunday. It is a time to set aside our wants and needs to come humbly and meet before God, recognising our needs for our Saviour above all. Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent, and Lent continues into the Holy Week which has the events of Monday, Thursday and Good Friday. Monday, Thursday commemorates the day uh, Jesus celebrated Passover with his disciples and washed their feet and retreated to the Garden of Gethsemane for prayer. It's during the Passover meal that Jesus institutes the act of communion and remembering his sacrifice. So how do we celebrate Lent? First, we should decide on our Lenten sacrifice. Lent is a time of solemnity and sacrifice. Most people give up a negative thing, but instead you could try to achieve something positive, like reading the Bible every day. You could attend Mass and do confession regularly. So, what is the story of Lent? Jesus went into the desert to fast and pray before beginning his work for God. Lent allows Christians to remember Jesus' fasting in the desert. It is a time of giving up things and a test of self-discipline. Lent takes us up to Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday marks Jesus' resurrection. After he was crucified, his body was taken to a cave or tomb. The tomb was guarded by soldiers and a huge stone was put over the entrance. On Sunday, Mary Magdalene and some of Jesus' disciples visited the tomb. They found the stone had been moved and Jesus' body had gone. Jesus was seen later that day by Mary and the disciples, and for 40 days afterwards, by many people, he was seen. His followers realised that God had raised him from the dead. Christians called this resurrection. season of 40 days starting from Ash Wednesday to Holy Saturday. These 40 days represent the time Jesus spent in the wilderness enduring the temptation of Satan before beginning his ministry. During Lent we especially remember the passion, suffering and death of Jesus on the cross. Therefore this is a time we all should spend in prayer, penance, fasting and offering up our sacrifices to Jesus. During this Lent, I have decided to give up meat and fish. I have also decided to reduce the time I spend watching TV and internet. I have also made up my mind to spend more time for prayer and for Bible reading. 
I have also decided to be more kind and gentle and help others whenever I can. These are my decisions for this Lent. Wishing you all a blessed and holy uh, Lent. Thank you, God bless and bye. Hello, my name is Joshua and I am from Preston. Today I'm going to talk about my Lenten journey. Lent is the time of year when Christians prepare for Easter. It begins in February or March depending on the date when Easter is. It lasts for 50 days. During Lent, many Christians fast or go without regular meals. We do this in the memory of Jesus Christ who was in the desert. As we are this young generation, we should think about devoting our life to God as well as going through some sacrifices during Lent. Friends, what are you doing this Lent? For me, I've already given up television and chocolate. I'm also reading the Bible every day, at least one chapter. I'm going to confession as it cleanses your sins and I do it always I do it every two weeks. Attend daily mass and if it is not possible, I will attend online. I'm also helping my parents by cooking, cleaning and washing as it helps to make a stronger bond. I make sure that I don't miss the evening prayer with my parents and I help the needy be and help the needy be a giver, not a taker. And each night before you go to bed, pray for the day you have been given and pray for the next one. Hello, my fellow Christian brothers and sisters. Today I'm going to be talking about Lent and what it means to me. Lent is a time for reflection and prayer. We should always remember how much Jesus suffered for us. During this time, I aim to get closer to God and improve my spiritual life. I do this by attending Holy Karbana daily and receiving Jesus' body only with eligibility. We must always think about our sins before receiving the Holy Communion. We should all aim to keep our state of grace intact by doing regular confession. Also, during family prayer in the evenings, I contemplate how Jesus is our saviour. As you all know, to experience part of Jesus' sorrow, we should give up something. This Lent, I have given up meat with my family. I hope everyone has a wonderful Lenten season and an amazing Easter. Thank you for taking your time to listen. Why